Today we're going to have a showdown of sorts between the newcomer in the micro productions and the established champion in the full size placeable productions. Farm Sim 22 introduced productions in the base game for the very first time. Up to that point, it had been a mod that was available typically to PC players because of the use of production scripts. It's an interesting addition, these little miniature productions. They're low cost at $36,000 a piece, but they're also low output. And as it turns out, they are exactly one tenth the output of their bigger brothers. Are they one tenth the cost? Usually no, which makes the bigger brothers more cost effective from a standpoint of cost to place to building and the output of the product you get. And depending on if there's production built into the map, well, the costs could be maybe even more in favor of a large scale production. Let me show you this. So we have here on Riverbend Springs, a bakery. This bakery is pre-placed. And if we jump over here to the bakery, we're gonna be able to buy it for $50,000. Just 50 grand for this little bakery. We also have a candy factory, which is the equivalent of the preserved foods factory. This one's gonna cost $330,000. A little closer to the one tenth the cost of the bigger one with the fact of $36,000. We also have on this map a pre-placed grain mill. That one's gonna cost you $288,000. not one ten or 10 times the cost of the small grain mill at 36,000. So be very cautious when you are looking at these small time productions. They may be cost effective for you starting out, but you may be throwing money away by just not buying the pre-placed one, but possibly could be just a little bit more money. Now let's look at these in build mode because there's some interesting things going on. In all examples, these little mini productions are $36,000. And in most cases, the mini production is going to produce the same output as the main production. There is at least one exception here at the sawmill. The mini production does not produce prefab walls, whereas the full size sawmill does. Here we have a full size sawmill. You see we have prefab walls, we have boards, we have long planks, and we have normal planks and wood chips. Now, oddly enough, here we have a smaller full-size production sawmill that doesn't do the prefab walls either. So this one at $150,000 is more akin to the $36,000 smaller production. Right, we have our spinnery, that looks good. Our oil mill, that looks good. We also had rice flour listed there. Our dairy, that looks good. Our grain mill looks good. Carpentry looks good. Carpentry doesn't look like it outputs wood chips. That may be a new thing. We have a preserved food factory and our bakery. That all looks good. So in all regards, $36,000. A sawmill doesn't do prefab walls, but one of the placeable sawmills also doesn't do prefab walls. So there's kind of a wash there. Our placeable bakery is $150,000. $100,000 more than the bakery that is pre-placed on this map. So even at 150 G's, it's more cost effective to put the bakery down than the mini production, unless you just don't have the money. And if you just don't have the money and you absolutely have to be putting out cakes or flour or bread, I mean, then all right, the mini production will get you there. But as soon as you have the opportunity to upgrade to get 10 times the production, you probably should be doing so. Your preserved food factory, as we mentioned, the cost is the same for the one that is pre-placed on the map, as well as this placeable at $330,000. So it is comparable to the $36,000 one by just a couple thousand dollars. So again, 
you're not going to lose too much money if you buy the mini one, other than the fact that you have a reduced output. With respect to the flour mill, though, it's $288,000 for both the one that is here on the map and the placeable version. So again, we're kind of back to that ratio where it's less than 10 times the cost to upgrade to the big one. So as soon as you can upgrade to the big one, you probably should because your cost to output ratio is in a better position with the big one. But let's take a look at some of these other productions. Where might it make sense to buy the smaller production and stay there? Well, we don't have a cement factory mini production, so we can't do really that one. We don't have a mini production paper factory, so we really can't do that one. Here we are, exactly one for one, potato processing plant, but we don't have a potato processing mini factory. So it really doesn't matter. Soup factory, $405,000. I don't think we have a placeable soup factory in the mini production. Let's look. So we have bakery, preserved foods, carpentry, dairy, grain mill, grape, oil mill, sawmill, spinnery, sugar mill, and tailor. So we don't have a soup factory either. So that's kind of a mute point also. So in general, these don't cost 10 times what these cost, and they produce 10 times the output. Let's look at the recipes. So our mini bakery, it's gonna have all the normal inputs, all the normal outputs. Our cycles per month is 120. Nine flour equals 4.5 bread. If we jump up to the big boy bakery, we have our 120 cycles, but 90 flour and 45 bread. So 10 times the output. Same's gonna hold true for our cakes, 48 cycles, 21 cakes. 4.8 cycles, 21 cakes. So, yeah. Our grain mill. 30 barley, 22 flour, 480 cycles. Our small grain mill, 30 barley, 22 flour, 48 cycles, 110. Preserved food factory, our canned peas, 100 peas, 45 canned peas, 240 cycles per month. Our smaller factory, 100 peas, 45 canned peas, 24 cycles per month. So again, one tenth the output. Just for fun, let's do a little bake off, if you will. I'm gonna fill up all of these productions, inputs, and we're gonna set them off to produce bread. Ready, this one is going to produce Oh, what are we going to produce here? Let's produce jarred green beans, just for funsies. And then our flour mill, we're going to produce wheat flour. So as you can see, we've filled things up. So we have 110,000 liters worth of flour in our big bakery. Our smaller bakery has 11,000 liters of flour. Our grain mill has 126,000 liters of wheat. Our small grain mill has, interestingly enough, the same amount of wheat. Now, I don't, I, I don't really understand that, but okay, we'll, we'll just run with it. Our preserved food factory, we have 240,000 liters of green beans for a big boy and 24,000 liters of green beans for our smaller one. Now, it's a little depressing to me, I guess, that we don't have some sort of animations, people in here doing things. Maybe it's because, you know, we've been a little spoiled with respect to some productions that had animations from FS22 that were mods. But given the fact that we can see in here and we can come in here and look, Right, it'd just be kind of neat to see some animations going on. Maybe some modders will do us a solid and make that happen. But all of these are running. And other than coming up here and getting in the info box, 
you don't really realize they're running. Now, I would think that maybe the fact that we're seeing such a large amount in the little factory here would be adjacentness to this one, but we are actually further away. These two are further away than the other companion factories to each other, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. So we're going to fast forward to 1245 in September, exactly one month from now. And we'll see, and we should have 10 times the output in the bigger Roy's versus the smaller ones. Oh, how the time flies by when you're having fun, right? So we have a month has gone by. 1245, we have zero pallets for our bakery. Just over half a pallet. So we're gonna get maybe a pallet every other month on average out of this small scale bakery. What do we have over here out of our bigger scale bakery? Well, we have five pallets, as math would expect us to have, given the fact that this one produces 10 times as much. With respect to our preserved foods factory, well, we have 10 pallets spawned here of our green beans. We have almost an entire pallet ready to go. So it's not going to spawn here until we clear these out of the way. So nearly 11 pallets, two, one, and a part. We just started one. So approximately one pallet per month for this one, at least with green beans. Our flour mill. We got one pallet of flour, 1,000 liters. Just started another pallet. And that means we probably have 10 pallets over here. And lo and behold, we do indeed. And we just started a 11th pallet. So all three examples, 10 times the output in our bigger factories, as math would tell us we should get to these smaller factories. And again, with respect to the bakery, be super careful because if you buy the little bakery, but then you find out that the placeable baker or pre placed bakery on the map is only 50 G's, you're probably going to be pretty upset with yourself because you just threw away $14,000. Well, you threw away $36,000 because you could have spent $14,000 more and 10 times your output. 10 times your investment. I would assume, and I haven't looked at every single miniature placeable, but given the fact that we've got three here, I think we've got a decent sample size that all the other ones are going to be one-tenth the output of their bigger brother. And in most regards, their bigger brother isn't even anywhere as close to one-tenth the cost. I think these miniature ones are a great idea, especially if you are doing a start from scratch or one of those, you know, survival gameplays where you are struggling for every dollar, then if you save up $36,000 and you can start pumping out some flour and you can save up $36,000, you can start pumping out some bread. It's going to help you get more money in the end, but it's not the end all be all of productions. And as soon as you can afford the big boy brother, you really need to be jumping on that bandwagon, in my opinion. I'd love to know your all's thoughts down in the comments below with respect to this small scale production. Is it a cool concept? Would you like to see animations? And what is the deal? Why don't we see small time production on all of the productions as opposed to just a subset of them? And until next time, Happy farming.